you! It was you! It was you! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Tani here, and today I have a bit of a more, um, how would I describe this? A niche video uh, for you. Um, that is very much just self-serving my interests and what I care about and what I like. Uh, so today I'm making the women of the Real Housewives of New York. Um, I honestly, I, I'm not just making the women, I'm making my favorite cast in this show to have ever existed, which is Bethany, Ramona, Luann, Sonia, Dorinda, and Tinsley. And that might be a little bit um, well, I don't know. I don't think it is controversial. I think that is like everyone's favorite um, <laughs> cast. But I thought about whether or not to include Carol in this, and I ended up not including her. However, if you added her, that would be like my very close second favorite cast. But anyway, today we're going with this one, and just because I really, really, really miss this cast. Like, I've been re-watching from season eight um, onwards with my girlfriend, um, and it's her first time watching the show, and oh my gosh, it is just better than I even remembered. Because um, normally I tend to kind of rewatch the first few seasons, so it's just been such a treat to rewatch these. Um, and kind of see them with fresh eyes for the first time. But yeah, I I was inspired to make this video because of the fact that it seems to be quite official that Ramona has been fired. And I mean, I'm not I'm not saying it's not for a good reason. I'm just kind of in a mourning period because I think like we've never ever seen the Real Housewives of New York without her. So yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what the show is going to be like without Ramona Singer in it. Like, it's just going to be strange. Like, I can't even imagine it, to be honest. But anyway, then now I'm moving on to actually making Ramona. And I will say this is not my proudest one. I don't think I did that well. And because it was so difficult to make Ramona and make a sim that looks like Ramona, all I could do is just like focus on the eyes. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just I'm sorry you've been robbed of this happiness and joy of knowing Ramona Singer's crazy eyes. Uh, I would definitely say you should Google, <laughs> if not watch, the entire show. I know it's like 13 seasons, but it's fine. Just watch it. You won't regret it. I promise. But yeah, I just... I'm not sure and convinced, like if, I don't know, they, they said that they were going to bring the show back in like Legacy and then like a new one with all these like influencers and whatever and I just, I am not personally interested in seeing women like almost around like basically my age arguing, I want to see middle aged wealthy women fighting, like that's what I'm interested in, like I don't know, but that's just my opinion, if you disagree you can disagree, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i just missing these women specifically because New York is also like my favorite city in the world in general. And then to have my favorite show be this good in that city and like the women are incredible and they're so New York, it is devastating that we might not ever get to see them again. <laughs> <laughs> like that we probably won't ever have this cast back together ever again because I don't think Bethany would ever come back I don't think they would let Ramona ever come back another woman who's not in this cast but who was in it in the earlier seasons Jill I would love to see her come back but I don't think they would let her come back either so yeah I'm just I'm going through like a housewives mourning period <laughs> Um, but never say never because, I mean, the OC just, the Housewives of OC saw some of the most iconic cast members come back and then Taylor Armstrong hopped from Beverly Hills over to OC, so, I mean, we could potentially see them come back, but I definitely don't think Bethany would come back, um, 
and she's like in my top three all-time favorite housewives um but yeah i don't think she's ever coming back to the franchise and i don't i honestly don't think they would ever let ramona back either now i'm moving on to making luann um and literally i just watched or rewatched the episode of season 11 where bethany like explodes on luann <laughs> just like five minutes ago when i was having my dinner uh and just wow like luann is an incredible housewife like her ability to just come back pick herself up and just dust herself off and move on is honestly unmatched like <laughs> i don't know if i could have come back from that but i think it might have something to do with just how for lack of a better word like delusional she is <laughs> like it really is all about her but that's fine we love to see it it's very entertaining to watch but yeah anyway i luan was one of those ones that i thought was going to be way more difficult to make and then i think i did a pretty good job actually like i was i was pretty proud of myself i think i did a good job um although i will say like choosing everybody's outfits was very difficult because there's just not really middle-aged wealthy real housewife clothing in this game and even cc is like i feel like it's all like younger people clothing <laughs> like i feel like it's all like even cc nowadays it's more like for young hot 20 year olds so anyway now we're moving on to sonia my dear dear sonia i honestly love sonia morgan so much she is just such a crazy individual and just so entertaining to watch and i think as long as they bring her back with luann to whatever new show that they're gonna make like it'll be fine like it just needs sonia's craziness it's crazy to me that she wasn't in it since season one because it feels like she's such a cornerstone of that show and i just can't believe that she wasn't in it from the beginning but i mean it just goes to show that she is an incredible housewife honestly like just amazing and she's also jennifer lawrence's favorite which is cool um but yeah i think i actually did a pretty good job sonia i think is naturally so gorgeous and she has such a distinct look so it was really difficult to like i cut out a lot of me just like tweaking like tiny little things but eventually i think i i did a pretty good job um also choosing her outfit was really difficult because again she seems to have like a very versatile style like sometimes it's more preppy and then another time it's like hose galore so i don't know <laughs> it was kind of difficult to choose but um i was glad with with the end result now we're moving on to dorinda and oh my gosh dorinda is one of my favorites like genuinely i think in my across all of the the cities like i think dorinda bethany and sonia are amongst some of my like absolute all-time favorites like maybe the top three and i see a lot of people say stuff like oh dorinda seems like she has such darkness in her and whatever i'm like i don't see it i just think she's like crazy in a good way and she was fantastic on the show i really want them to bring her back like, if they bring her back with Luann and Sonia, I think the show will be as good as it used to be. Like, 100 million percent. But they just need to do, like, they just need to follow those simple steps of hiring back some of the core cast who know how to bring it. And, yeah, Dorinda's definitely one of them. Like, <laughs> this lady is truly, like the fact that she joined way later and was able to become so iconic like when you watch any kind of videos on youtube that are like crazy rony moments blah 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 like they all have at least 70 percent dorinda moments because she is so crazy and so funny like just incredible like hands down one of my all-time favorites <laughs> like when she was slurring her words talking to carol in the on the trip to uh cartagena i think it was like oh my gosh just 
just so funny. Like, ah, I don't know. Just very good. Enlighten yourself if you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, please, please do. Like, it, you will be entertained, even if you don't watch the show. Like, she's so funny. Um, then finally, now we're moving on to Tinsley Mortimer, who I think a lot of people maybe think was kind of boring. I disagree. I thought Tinsley brought something to the show that was just so fresh and fun. Like, she was just kind of very out of touch, but not in a malicious way. Like, I don't know, it was just entertaining to watch her have her problems with the dating and stuff. And like, my heart went out to her. Like, I just, I, I feel like she's somebody who just wanted to be loved and feel loved and cared for. Uh, and I think the other women could be like, brutal on her. Like, I really felt for her at times, but like, overall, I just think she was kind of funny. And I mean, I really felt bad for her. I just watched the episode where Bambi dies and I just felt horrible that all the women were like, she's overreacting. I'm like, no, losing your dog is like losing a family member. Like, it's so sad. I, I honestly, I cry whenever these housewives, uh, when they lose their pets, because it's just, I know what it feels like and it's so soul crushing. Um, but yeah, I like Tinsley and I actually think I did a pretty good job with her as well. I think this sim kind of ended up looking a lot like her, um, but yeah. We're starting to come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it to all of my housewives and Sims lover lovers out there. I hope you enjoyed it. I know there's probably not that many of us, but still, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. It means a lot to me and I hope you are having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!